With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And look at this. Right away, a loose football. And a terrific return there. They're finally able to corral it down near the 11-yard line. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. Brings up second and nine. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. From the shotgun, Wilson. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. Robbie Anderson there to make the grab as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 7-0. How does the kick send this one away? This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Ready, break. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. And that's what he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. You got nothing. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. Diluted. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Kevin Green able to run him down for a 15-yard loss. And it With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Here's the longtime Bronco, Jason Elam, to get us started. And off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. This is taken near the 13. 
And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Now Wilson on first down. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, he's going to air it out. It got his man complete. An explosive 38-yard pickup. Well, there's a pretty big start right there. They go bombs away on the first play from scrimmage. Put a smile on your face, didn't it? Not because you're rooting for anyone, but that's the way to begin a game, to put someone back on their heels and announce that they plan to be aggressive. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now a whistle and I think a penalty here for a delay. No, they're going to say timeout. They did get the timeout in time. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, it's Wilson. And he's got the hook up to Moore. Touchdown, Carolina! D.J. Moore, 39 yards as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Well, if they didn't get the wake-up call before the game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms because whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab, the second one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two, end zone. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. down. It's Sanders. Takes it to the 26. Just a one-yard game. Well, they had that one snipped out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short game. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task. To follow up your assignment. Go to the gap you're supposed to cover and not be deterred by anything else. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time. And that'll make it third down. Watch the run. Watch the run. Watch the end. Hey, Sunday on Sunday on Sunday on Sunday. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Reggie White on the sack there, showing the explosiveness that led him to the Hall of Fame. The start of this game shaping up nicely on that visiting sideline. Yeah, how about that? You get your points on the opening drive, then you get a big sack there on third down, and you make the home crowd go, shh. There is a hush indeed. And boy, down a touchdown already, but they're going to line up to go for it on their side of the field. Here we go, fourth down, Mahomes. And the pressure gets to him again. Boy, a real...
Brandon Gaudin and Charles Davis on hand. And this is a game where the defenses, they need to be on their toes because you've got quarterbacks here, yes, that can throw the football, but they can also run it very well, too. Mobile quarterbacks. Remember for the longest time, they used to tell the quarterbacks, stay in the pocket. We don't want you outside of it at all. Nowadays, that mobility, truly an asset, and people are game planning for it. As a scout told me recently, we are actually working with what the colleges are giving us nowadays. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be taken in at the one. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. He finds an opening past the 40. He's at the 40. Past the 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. A great effort there. 75 yards. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Wow. First play in the game, CD. 75 yards. These people, they haven't even filed in yet from the tailgate lots. Everyone talks about starting out fast. Everyone talks about getting explosive type plays. That was absolutely a thunderbolt. And on the defensive side, he spent all week scheming, all week preparing, and it seems like it goes right out the window. This will be fielded at the eight. now as they come up on first and ten. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Pressure comes and Wilson's going to go down. Zadarius Smith, he brought the pressure on the blitz and he gets there for a loss of 12. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Now Wilson. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Aaron Donald with a sack. Well, it's apparent that these guys are getting after it right from the opening kickoff. They roll right downfield and score on their first possession. And here on defense, back-to-back -back sacks. Someone is ready to play. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Operating from the gun, Wilson. He's going to look deep for more. And that'll be incomplete. Well, they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty. And it's fourth down. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. Mike. Mike. On first down, Dickerson. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. First down, Seattle, 16 yards the game there. On first down, Wilson. Oh, that was dangerous. Threw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. I think he's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. What? That time it fell incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. They'll try the left side. Dickerson. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. Left. 
He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. The 22 is the line to gain here on third down. Wilson. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers 14. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. The sack by Julius Peppers, and it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all, because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. If you take a big sack, it could push you out of range, and that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. I know in every game we do, we talk about momentum. That was a momentum play lost. And now there could be a letdown because they didn't get the interception. Yeah, you could almost hear the collective gasp on the sideline as he could not come up with that football. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here. On oh, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. Picked off by an American hero, Pat Tillman. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotions. Guys are a little bit jumpy. You do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. Just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three and out. And that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And he'll lay out and pull it in. What a diving catch there. That throw good for four. It's second down. Hey, look, 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 look. Funny, 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 funny. John, the gun. 59 is mine, 59 is mine. Check, check, 59. To throw again on second down, Wilson. And he will find the open man. It's D.J. Moore. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The big gainer there on the catch and run. 37 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now. First and 10. 12, 12, 12. From the gun, Wilson. Flushed out right. And that one is incomplete. And it also concludes quarter number one. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Once again, they'll come up on the 26 yard line, second and 10. Now Wilson throwing again. Flush to his right. And he's taken down, trying to do a little too much, getting outside of the pocket, and it results in a sack. That's a quarterback in for the sack, Tredavious White. Third and long, it's Wilson. Eluding the pressure right. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. The rushing numbers for Wilson may be down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. 
Norman, we're talking about a quarterback duel where they're matching each other pass for pass. How about the footwork in this with both of these guys running the ball well? Yeah, they mixed in the run game. You're exactly right. Now, both coaches might not like how much their quarterbacks have taken off, but another example right there of just good mobility. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and it'll bring up a second and 13. McCaffrey. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. to throw is Wilson. From the gun, he'll throw. And that will be caught by Moore. He's got a Panthers touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown there as they are now on the board here in the first half. Extra point splits the uprights, and we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. We got this. The Seahawks take over first and ten at their own 35-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda, really, that balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. They get 17 on that one. Move the chains. First down, Seahawks. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coaches. They'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A really nice gain of 25 yards. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen, where they're faking people out, the backs. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off down at the 10. And a very good return as he'll take it all the way up to the 40-yard line. Well, they thought they were going to break the tie. The defense had other plans. They were already in field goal range. But boom, an interception. I don't know if this was a case of being a little bit too greedy with the opportunity to put points on the board. But give credit to the guys on the defensive side. Hung in there, battled, and made a key play. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. There's Wilson to throw. On the run, he'll let this go deep right. Trying to fit it into Moore, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Jones. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. Okay, it's real simple to say from here, but we know that sometimes as a quarterback, you've got to know when to say when and just throw it away. Flushed out to the right, tries to make something out of nothing here, and he winds up floating one downfield. Think it's intercepted. 
Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Julius Peppers, his second sack of the night. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. And Wilson's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by the Hall of Famer, Night Train Lane. And his guys will set up shop at midfield at the 50-yard line. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Following the fumble recovery, it's Wilson escaping the pressure right. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. Russell Wilson with two first-half touchdown passes. And the Panthers have taken the lead. Extra point right down the middle. And that makes the score 14-7. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Inside of a minute left in the half, does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on this final drive? It certainly does, but what influences me even more is who I've got running my football team out on the field and the weapons around him. Can he make a play? Can he get into someone that we're going to trust to take care of the ball? If that's the case, I might push it a little bit here and try and get something before the half runs out. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? So jumping from his free safety spot. That tells you how aggressive they are on defense, doesn't it? They get everyone involved. He was a little too fast on that play. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. Wilson now operating from the gun. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And down inside the 15 he goes. First down Seattle, 16 yards the game there. Here's Wilson, flushed out right. Wilson hit, it's loose, it's out, fumble. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as it will come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. They'll run now with Okoye. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. Now a signal and a timeout call as it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. This Carolina defense looking to keep him out of the end zone once more. Third and goal. They'll run it. Here's Okoye. And he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field, and I don't think he got there. And oh no, they spike it here. That was fourth down. So they spike it on fourth down, and they will lose the football. Mike. Hey, switch gears, switch gears. There, there. Final play of the half, it's Wilson. They'll roll him out right. To the right side, and he's got more complete. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. And he's in for the touchdown. On the final play of the first half, the prayer is answered. How did they get that done? And they extend their lead, a little added cushion into the lockers. What a way to finish. Tremendous way. That's momentum that they carry in with them. Can they convert it and bring it back out to start the third quarter? 
So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Panthers out in front, and they will get the football first. Second half action underway. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple of extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on here. He rifles one that's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now Wilson. Wide open receiver complete. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And a short pick up there down to about the nine. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. Now they go screen. It's complete. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. It's a six-yard loss on the play. And that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. Wilson. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. The free safety, Trey Boston, there to knock it away. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. I guess they figure they got to start taking some chances. Here's a big one in this third quarter as he'll go for it on fourth down. Now it's Wilson. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked up by the safety, Eric Reed. And the return goes up to his own 17-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. And Wilson's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Pat Tillman. They had him back deep, got the interception, and now they start inside the 10. Partner forgets starting inside the red zone. They're inside the green zone. From the 10-yard line in, a lot of teams call it that because that's the money zone. Get it into the end zone and make your cash. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. A great play there. His second touchdown of the night as his guys are back within a single score. Lux with the extra point. And they're back within a touchdown at 21-14. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. This will be taken short. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Operating from the gun. Wilson. That'll be taken in by Anderson. 
The completion good for three, and it's second down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit you. Stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you've stopped the clock and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving it. Keep grinding clock. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. They snap it at one. Now Wilson. And he's got his target. That's more. It's a Panthers first down, 17 yards on the play. But we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered. But how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your man rate, right? No doubt about that at all. The ball's out. McCaffrey lost it. And the Seahawks have recovered. All I know, partners, that with every play call that came in, there was a little discussion about, hey, we can seal this bad boy. We can really put ourselves in a great spot to take total control. And yet, they find a way to cough it up. Yeah, the two-score game opportunity eludes them. And now, a chance for the other side to come back here. Yeah, that means defense has to go out there and make some plays themselves. And it's intercepted in the end zone. It's Shaq Thompson here with a pick. The defense more than did its job. Now the offense is summoned onto the field as they'll go for two. That's going to set him back five yards. Point after here coming up. He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now 28-14. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Back to the air, Wilson after the pick six. Going for the deep ball. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. A big play that time for the Seahawks. And even 50 yards. On first and 10, it's Wilson. Rush coming, and he's taken down. A good response by the defense, sending them backwards after that huge gain last play. To try again after the sack. Wilson, throw left side complete. That's Holt. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. On third down, Dickerson. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Slam, 
They'll throw on first down with Wilson. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Julius Peppers in there to get him yet again. That is his third sack tonight. They can't figure him out. On second down, Dickerson. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Now it's Wilson. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No, no pick, just incomplete that time. Here's Wilson. And no, it's incomplete. Pete Carroll rolled the dice, but it didn't work out. And the Panthers will get the football back. Check 99. Check 99. Check. Check hot rock. Hot, hot. Now Wilson on first down. Flush to his right. On the run. He'll let this go deep right. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Carolina!